Hi Pisces, welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry Tarot. This reading is going to be another sexy, intimate reading on the Pisces for the Pisces Collective to get insight into Pisces Collective sex life, sexual expression, partnership relationships, and, and some other areas. So thank you for taking time to join and join me and spend with me. I really appreciate it. And here we go. Guys, guardians, angels, ancestors. Oh, let me keep. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, by be light and above, please come near and provide Pisces Collective with insight into their intimate relationships and sexual expression. Here we go. All right. Spirit, what is Pisces Collective current sex life? What's going on? And we get this. Ooh, the Nine of Pentacles. So this is a card of singleness, of luxury, of enjoying pleasures and we see this guy in here taking a piece of her hair so to me this is saying that pisces the people or person who you're having intimacy with may want to keep a piece of you they that that being with you is so good that they just they just want to like have you so, you know, we, we see him cutting a piece of her hair, something to remember her by. So that's what it is. Pisces, this is telling me that in your intimate life, you definitely leave, mark, leave a mark on people. And I don't talk, I don't mean like biting them, but, but literally they keep you on their mind and they don't forget you. You're unforgettable, Pisces. What is Pisces' current sexual expression? The six of wands. So Pisces, look at this woman. She is so sultry. Pardon me, I just washed my hair. So that's a little wet. Anyway, so we see this woman, the Six of Wands, and she is so sexy and she's so alluring. And that, that matches the Nine of Pentacles, how, you know, you leave this impression on people where they just want more and more of you. You, you make them hungry and thirsty, Pisces, and they reach for you and, and they just want to touch you and put your, their hands all over you. You know, and, and Pisces, you know, you're victorious in love because, you know, you're, you're sexy as hell, you know, and people just want to eat you up. Um, what, what do Pisces partners um, feel sexually? What is their sexual expression with Pisces right now? Five of Pentacles. So, you know, the Five of Pentacles is typically a card of feeling out in the cold or lonely. And, and that makes sense for the partner because Pisces, you being so sexy and enticing and sultry and they want to, they, not only do they want to, put their hands all over you but they they want to take a piece of you they want a piece of you like they're they just crave you and here we have the five of pentacles saying yes in fact they do crave you and when they're not with you when they're not touching you when they're not with you intimately they just feel a sense of void they feel like they just they want to not only be with you but they want to you know be intimate with you right now like in you all right, what, Pisces, what are you craving sexually? What is the Pisces collective craving sexually right now? And we have the Eight of Swords. So in typical tarot, the Eight of Swords, and again, if you're a kid or whatever, you need to get out of this video because this is not going to be for you. So in the Eight of Swords, we see people, a lady in the traditional tarot with a blindfold on and swords around her. So to me, if we use the logic of the Eight of Swords, you know, that's kind of allowing yourself to be vulnerable, um, letting somebody ravish you. You know, we see in the background some type of figure that looks a little bit devilish. You know, maybe there's Pisces, maybe you want to be watched. You know, that's kind of what this is telling me. You, you want to be seen and you want to be devoured. You want people to fully experience you and, and to taste you and feel you and and just enjoy you and and that is part of what makes you so enticing and so unforgettable pisces all right so pisces what can pisces do to make intimacy or sex better seven of pentacles so this is you know spending time investing with your partner we see the candle is blown out the the glass is empty the rose petals on the ground so this is showing you know that that act of 
direct passionate intimacy is over, you know, and, and they're taking a rest, they're resting after, you know, they've, they've been intimate together. But the Seven of Pentacles for um, what you're craving sexually, oh, hold on, one, two, three, four, is, is that, that time, you know, the, the partner is craving you sexually to not only be with you intimately, but to actually have you ongoing, to spend that time with you and, and to keep you near and just look, he has his hands all over her, even though they're done. Not only does he have his hands on her, but he's wrapping his legs around her. He wants to keep her there. So Pisces, what this is telling me is whomever you're involved with and, and what's also coming to is maybe it's, it's somebody that wants to be involved with you, right? That maybe you have not been with yet. They can't get you off their mind. Like they, they think about you all the time. They want to be with you and not just spend time with you, but they want to be with you and in you. And after that, they don't want to let you go. Like he wants, this person wants to keep their hands on you. They want to just lock you down because the good, good is so good. All right. So how do, I think that was how to make sex better. So what could Pisces try sexually to, to enhance sex? And we get three of cups. Well, this is spicy, right? So what this is telling me is, you know, really coming into your expression, fully feeling everything. Like if, if a person puts their hands on you, taking the moment to actually feel like their hand on your skin, breathing in their breath, feeling their energy and being completely in the moment and feeling their embrace. And really when they touch you to allow yourself to fully feel that and also allowing yourself to touch another person and feel their skin and and have that experience of coming together in that passion and almost as if time stands still it's like a truth of passion allow that right so what inhibition should pisces release right now sexually six of pentacles so six of pentacles and and we got this in the last um intimate reading for pisces I think, you know, we're the apples and whatever, but so I think the inhibition to release is, is, you know, in this, for this reading, we see her back is to the guy and he's kind of looking in, you know, so perhaps Pisces, perhaps there's some type of environment of being closed off or not really giving access to people. And, and again, I do need to clarify that not all people need access to you. Let me state that again. Not all people should have access to you. That is, people that have access to you should earn the right to have access to you and should be somebody with whom um, they're not going to hurt you, use you. I, again, that's part of my judgment of like what I want. You know, you do your life how you want. But I, I think, you know, it's notable to say that not everybody should have access to you um because people do leave energy imprints anyway going back to the reading so six of pentacles six of pentacles is typically a card of give and take of sharing of sharing but not too much not giving everything and pisces i think oftentimes pisces are over givers they give and give and give and sometimes they're left feeling a little bit empty or like things are not reciprocal or there's not give and take or it's unbalanced right so inhibitions to release i think you know as, as pisces you come into this you know oneness of feel, fully feeling the experience of intimacy but then inhibitions to release i do not mean to say that you know you got to share all yourself that is not at all what i mean i think it's um perhaps the opposite of maybe not to share all yourself, you know, to hold a little bit back. And by holding yourself a little bit back, that makes you more intriguing to people. That makes you, like, think of something you've always wanted, but, you know, is just not in your reach, right? So bring in the, if maybe you're not a flirt or maybe you're not as spirit as to like, you know, tease people. And I don't mean tease as in, oh, you're a tease. That's not what I mean. But, but just like the sexual enticement, right? Like be the forbidden fruit, you know, in, instead of just saying, here I am, I'm Pisces, you know, I just give everything up front, you know, 
it's okay to hold back a little bit and be that forbidden fruit. Make them reach for you. All right. So guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, to close out this reading, what overall message do you have for Pisces? One card that you really want them to know to take away for their intimate life and their intimate journey right now. One card for their intimate life and intimate journey. One card, please, spirit. And we get the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, oh, what's this? Oh, the, so we get the tower on the bottom, but I don't typically read the towers. It just went upside down. So anyway, we get the Ace of Swords. And so to me, you know, when, when I say, you know, Spirit, what do you want Pisces to overall know? And we see here, you know, a little bit of experimentation that, so I think Spirit is saying, you know, Pisces, it's okay to experiment a little bit. It's okay to, you know, try new things and to think outside of the box and we we see the you know bdsm type environment here you know if, if you want to try new things and again I'm, I'm not in any way advocating you know abuse or things like that but but basically um having sparks in your romantic life trying new things being exploratory you know having fun if, if you have a partner who you, you feel like you can actually share with or try new things with, that is wonderful. You know, Pisces, I think, are embody sexual expression and sexual feeling and creativity. So, you know, and Ace of Swords is communication and ideas and bring new ideas into the bedroom. Bring I new ideas into your lovemaking and your intimacy. And I think that's really what will, you know, help you and keep you more keep you, these people or person wanting you and enticed by you. And I mean, you ha clearly have somebody here that's like, they look at you and they're probably spending time alone thinking about you, if you know what I'm saying, right? I mean, this person is like, so into you Pisces and, and they look at you as like, they, they want to be with you. They want to be inside you. They want to spend time with you and they don't want to let you go. You know, the intimacy they have with you is, is something they don't have with anyone else. Like nobody else feels to them like you feel Pisces, you know, and, and Pisces, you know, this is an opportunity, you know, use, be creative, you know, explore your ideas and, and be free Pisces. So that's what I have for you for your intimate reading. God bless.